You start this game out with three things. A rock, which will become your best friend. Two bandages, which won't give you health, but will stop you from bleeding. And 250 seconds worth of a burning torch. When first spawning into the world of Rust, you will need to find three things. You need to find animals, wood, and ore. There are six different animals in Rust at the moment. There is a rabbit and a chicken, which are very elusive, but are quite easy to kill. There's a boar, which like this one here, you have to chase and keep bashing with a rock. It takes about four or five times. There's a deer, which you have to um, push control, to crouch, and to slowly sneak up on. That takes around four to five hits as well. There's a, also bears and wolves, which you don't want to attack them quite yet, not until you at least get a bow and arrow or a pistol. After successfully killing your prey, push control to bend down so that your rock will hit every time when you strike it. All animals give you a combination of three things. Cloth, animal fat and raw chicken breast, which you will need all three later on. A common saying across rust is you can never have enough wood best place to gather wood is from wood piles like these. Trees only give you one wood, whereas depending on what weapon you use, such as a hatchet, pickaxe, or this rock, this wood pile can give you from 7 to 20 wood per strike. Rocks like these ones, and the more brownish one I was striking at earlier, will either produce sulphur ore, metal ore, or stone, which you will need for creating weapons and things like that. After you feel you've collected enough resources, you'll need to craft a campfire and some other things. You can do this by pushing tab which will go into your inventory. Your crafting menu should be on the right hand side. If it is not, the very top of your screen, there'll be three little options. Crafting will be one of them. Click on that and that'll pop open the crafting window on the right hand side. After creating your wooden shelter, drag it down to your hot bar and push the coinciding number. It will appear just like this. Once it goes green, that means that it's up. The ground is flat enough for it to place, and bang, there's your house. Don't forget to make a wooden door and add it to it. You can also add a metal door if you have enough metal fragments. And there you go. There's your little house. Please note the door can actually be hatcheted in with 100 hatchet strikes, 50 pickaxe strikes, or a piece of C4. To access the fire and many other objects, you need to hold E until it comes up with the option either ignite or open. Push open. Split your chicken breast up and add it to the fire. Don't forget to also add wood, otherwise the fire will not burn. Once doing that, exit the menu, hold E again and push ignite. Bang, there's your fire and there's your food cooking away. The next thing you'll need to create is a sleeping bag, which acts as a respawn point if you are killed. Once your sleeping bag is finished being crafted, place it down inside your house, that way you can respawn safely. After a while your chicken will be cooked. Drag some down into your hot bar and push the coinciding number. Food will regenerate your hunger bar and also give you health down in the bottom right hand corner. Once you've made some low grade fuel, you're ready to make a furnace. A furnace will refine metal ore into metal fragments, which you use for creating tools and weapons. It will also refine your sulphur ore into sulphur powder which you will need to create gunpowder. Also, once you add wood to any fire, it will turn it into charcoal, which you will need to create various things. Your next item on the agenda is to create a workbench, which if you are in close proximity of it, will allow you to create metal items such as pistols and hatchets. If you notice down the bottom right, it says workbench in green. That means you're in close proximity of it and able to create these items. While waiting for your furnace, 
If you have any extra cloth, you should create some armor such as a cloth helmet, vest, pants, and boots. It'll save your life. Once you have enough metal fragments and wood, the first thing I'd advise you create is a hatchet. It's faster at attacking, faster at collecting resources, and it's a lot better than your standard rock. Next item on the agenda is of course a pistol. You will need to create this using low quality metal which you can create from metal fragments. Every pistol needs bullets of course, so you need to combine gunpowder and metal fragments to create 9mm bullets. After creating your pistol and some ammo for it, go test it out in the local wildlife just to get used to the recoil and the way it acts. So that's it for this tutorial guys, go kill yourself some pesky wolves and bears that you've been running away from until you've made yourself pistol, and don't try and sneak up on me with a shotgun, because I will shoot you with my pistol. Anyway guys, I've been Trays, and I'm out, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you'd like me to do an advanced one of what to do after doing this, let me know. See you guys.